Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. And we have here Mike. My amateur radio call sign is Kilo Golf 2, Mike Mike. Welcome to this uh, episode of my ham radio channel. Today, uh, Mike's gonna assist me on updating the firmware on the ICOM 7610. To see your current version, once you have your radio turned on, push the menu, not this menu, the other menu, the, the button menu. Press menu, set, others, information, version. The main CPU or the main version where we're going to be focusing on is main CPU version 1.30. We're going to back out of here. We're going to save the memories or save your, your current settings that you have in the ICOM 7610 and we're going to save it to the SD card that's inside my ICOM 7610. Now if you don't have one go ahead and, and put one in there. I'm going to show you how to format it. So you're going to push menu, go to set, go to SD card and you're going to click on this format. I'm not going to do it here because I have a active uh, SD card that's already inside. So that's where you would format it. Now we're going to do a backup and we're going to save that backup to an SD card. Select SD card. You notice that there's two pages. There's page two of two or page one of two. We want to go to the first page. On the second item it says save settings. That's what you want. And here a new file. Just collect, uh, select that and that's actually the current date. I'm not going to change that. I'm going to leave it as default and then press enter. Save files is asking you a question, just say yes. So I have a three gigabyte drive or thumb drive and we're going to format it first. So there are two USB slots in the ICOM 7610. I'm using one for the RC28. It's uh, basically a, um, a control wheel and uh, we will use the top one for our firmware update. So let's plug it in first and we will format it. So press menu, set, USB flash drive and click on format. Click yes. Once it's completed its format, press unmount and press yes. So unmount is basically making it safe so you can detach your thumb drive. All right guys welcome to my desktop. We're looking at Firefox or uh, you can go to your favorite um, search engine. We're going to type in ICOM America. ICOM America and the first thing pops up is ICOM America. So we're going to click on that link go to support firmware download in this box here put in your model number you don't need to put IC just say 7610 do a search so these these are the USB drivers but we're focusing on the firmware for the ICOM 7610 this one right here so the version that I currently have when I bought my ICOM it's uh, version 1.30 so this is the latest version is version 1.41 dated May 16th, 2024. So to download this, click on the link. And you have the major change. So this is the first firmware update since uh, the release of the ICOM. So it's showing you 1.30 and I'll let you read all of that. It provides support to the new uh, amplifier, the ICPW2. So go down towards the bottom that you haven't 
understood and you agreed to this statement, all this stuff here, and click download. And it's completed. All right, one important thing to note, I know there's a lot of people out there that are very um, meticulous to their transmitting um, bandwidth. And what we have here, the latest changes was this one here is the, uh, it's called DPD, Digital Pre-Distortion Function. So that's uh, important to note. All right, so let's continue. We've already downloaded that, and let me show you where that's located. In your file manager, you have your downloads. So this is uh, where it's located here. Um, it's a zip file, ICOM 7610 underscore 141. We're going to unzip that, extract all, and it's telling me where do you want to extract that. Well, let's go ahead and extract it uh, in my downloads folder under 7610 underscore 141 so let's do that so that's only one file so this is the only file that we're going to do a copy and paste to a USB thumb drive I am now plugging my USB thumb drive into my computer my PC and it's located right here drive E I'll just double click on it so it created a subdirectory called IC-7610 so just double click on that and you have capture there's no files under that subdirectory and then settings there's no files under that subdirectory so I'm just backing up all right so now we're at the root directory let's go to the downloads folder and the subfolder where the firmware is located it's not this one this is the zip file it's this one so we double click and the file name is 7610 underscore 141 dot dat do a right mouse click and let's copy now go to your usb thumb drive double click ic 7610 here this is where you do a right mouse click and then paste that data file right mouse click under the thumb drive so we can eject it now it's safe to remove the thumb drive now we're here at the icom 7610 we're going to put the thumb drive in one of the two usb slots on the left side of the radio right here next we're going to press the menu button set we're going to select the USB flash drive we're going to go to page one of two we're going to select the firmware update so this is a caution statement letting you know that you have a risk of corrupting your database and if it happens to be corrupted then you need to send it back to ICOM for repairs and page two if you agree to do this and accept the risk push yes here's uh, the firmware 7610 underscore 141 push that button it's going to take two minutes to update the ICOM 7610 and it tells you to never turn it off or remove the SD card or thumb drive the flash drive do you want to start updating yes when you push the yes button it's a long press so make sure you press uh, more than one second to actually confirm you want to update the firmware
So once the radio reboots itself, now it's time to double check that the firmware has been up to date. So press menu, set, others, information, version. There it is. Version main CPU 1.41. Originally it was 1.30 and the firmware has been successfully installed. So let's back up, back out, and I want to unmount my flash drive. Unmount's complete. Now I can remove my thumb drive. Once the firmware has been updated, you need to do a full factory reset. So you push your menu, set, others, reset, and all reset. And it says here, all reset, carefully read the next caution, next. Clears all settings and memories, are you sure? Yes. There's version 1.41, so now it's been resetted. And it's a good thing that we've saved the settings onto the SD card. So let's uh, reload that. Press menu, set, SD card, load settings, and that's the only save settings I have and you want to select all and load the file yes so it says it's been completed and to restart the ICOM 7610 so I'm just gonna so there's no functionality once that is being displayed so you gotta turn off radio and then turn it back on. On the splash screen you'll see the update here version 1.41. Alright guys you came to the end that was great we managed to update the firmware on the ICOM 7610 to version 1.41 and I do really appreciate uh, Mike he gave a lot of support in the background I mean you probably didn't have it captured on the video but he did guide me along the way to make this production a lot easier and it wasn't guys. that bad was it Darren? no it, it was pretty easy all, all along right. the way was, so um don't be scared don't be scared and if you guys have any questions feel free to comment us um i reply to the comments um i might be flying but just give me a couple of hours or, or late that evening and i'll respond to you or if mike receives a notification if there's any comments and he'll reply as well. My name is Darren and my call sign is N4VFR and we have Mike, KG2, Mike, Mike. And thank you for watching. We'll say 73s until next video. See, See ya. ya.